Oh my goodness, we got a major problem here. The train is dead ended. Look at this, we're dead ended here. It's really clear that this is not near any town at all. There's the engines from the train that pull them off. I've been walking around for a little while. There's no town here. There's nothing. This is not the crew change, that's for sure. Gravel cars. I'm not sure where this gravel is going. Maybe just to Home Depot. This is bad, bad, bad. Right now. I gotta find out where this is and if there's a town or a road. Because this, this looks like being marooned. This is marooned here. Brownwood. Does anyone know where that is? I don't. Because I'm a moron and I'm unprepared and I don't even have a map. We got trains just booking it through here. There's obviously no way to get on this thing. Well, this is looking like a possible extreme problem. I mean, it's not an extreme problem like, you know, getting run over by the train or arrested. But other than that, this, this is possibly gonna deal break the rest of the trip if there's a bus station out of here. There's no train stopping at all. I got the one train that stops here in this yard. And it did end it here. And uh, I just don't know what to say. I don't wanna wait around in these bushes for a long, long amount of time for something to maybe come and pick up some cars out of the yard. So I'm gonna hike into town and kind of see what the bus situation is. And if there's a bus, I may just, this may be it. This may be game over. Well, this is absolutely disastrous. There's one bus a day to Fort Worth and it leaves already, it's already left. So that's the emergency scenario. I think I'm just gonna go park by the tracks and hope something stops. And you know, if, if it ain't here, if nothing stops or comes by by tomorrow, I'll probably have to push out and get that and then push out and get another one. And it's, this is just horrible. came up with that saying, but they weren't talking about coming here. Marooned Brownwood, Texas. Basically the plan, I'm just gonna have to hang out at the siding. There's a siding, so there's a place where, you know, there's two tracks so a train can pass the other one. Pretty close, and I'm just gonna have to wait there until something stops. That may mean it's going the other direction, because the bus, doesn't leave till tomorrow. Hitchhiking's impossible. There's just no direct roads. It's a miserable way to be spending today, I think. This is not what you want to be doing here with your life, folks. It's definitely not what I want to be doing with mine, but it's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll get this little kids railroad. That's one thing you can catch out on around here, I guess. Here at this little railroad museum here in Brown Hole or whatever it's called. Grim times, folks. This is possibly the worst instance of being marooned that I can ever recall in 10 plus years of traveling around on cargo trains. Basically, there's, you know, the tiny chance of a train stopping on the siding here. There's also a minor chance of one of these cuts of cars getting picked up by uh, westbound here at some point. The daily bus out of here does go to Fort Worth, which is basically that's deal killer time. I ride that bus, I'm just gonna go there and have to ride another bus to get out of here. Game over for this trip. I'm absolutely out of energy and I don't even wanna try to figure that out, so. Look at these cars parked in the yard. Look at that wheel. That thing ain't going anywhere and it hasn't been anywhere. Unreal. That is, I did that tag, folks. I don't know where or when, but KFC, Colonel's Freight Crew. 
That's a good sign. Maybe that's a sign of something positive. Very interesting signs here. I don't know if that's good or not, that my tag has got these ones on the same car. Look at this place. I got burrs everywhere in my leg here. It's just horrible. One thing we can be maybe positive about is we got this cut of cars. Right here, this is the siding. There's the main line. This cut of cars was shoved here early in the morning by the yard goat. The yard crew and this is where you would put uh, a cut of cars that's going to be picked up by a westbound all the wheels there's no rust on those wheels these are not here for storage and that goes for all the rail cars in this whole string it's pretty likely that this string of cars is going to get picked up the question is when tomorrow's sunday that's not a good that's never good but this is something I think will be picked up by a westbound eventually. Just have to say, I mean, this would be a great trip through this area if you had fast trains, no stupid mistakes like the one I did getting on that train where actually having looked at it, it's pretty clear it's not a long distance train. I mean, this could be great under those circumstances, but under these circumstances, this really sucks. And I'm starting to question if I'm going to do this again after this trip, how much more of this I can endure. The amount of time just going down the drain, sitting around here, it's starting to be very problematic. The whole summer is starting to go to waste. Absolutely no activity whatsoever, like a bar, anything. I don't even know why people live in towns like this. Look at this, it's Saturday night. Nothing. Pretty much every place here is shuttered 100% in the downtown area. This town probably will not exist. Sporting goods. Yep, it's pretty much hollowing out see this kind of stuff. I'm just gonna get a little philosophical here. What is the point of doing all this traveling when this is like the main deal in a lot of these towns? There's nothing here. There's absolutely no reason to come to this place at all. And I kind of think that's depressing. I mean, this is a cool building. What used to happen up there? I have no idea. It looks like an apartment. You got this sporting goods store. You know, and so I don't know what it means. I don't know what this means as far as the future of the United States, but just town after town after town is just emptying out here. I mean, this is this place isn't even gonna exist. If this is your Saturday summer night here, which is like one of the real popular topics with today's country songs, you can't even find a bar here. I mean, this town's history. Absolutely zilch right here. Brown Hole, Texas. Just when things were looking so down, we got a westbound pulling in. He's on the siding. There's a red signal on the siding. Meaning he's going to stop. Meaning that unless some BS happens in the next short amount of time, I'm out of here. It's about midnight and I was getting so dejected. Come on, come on, pull up and stop. Please. See right down there, double reds. Oh, what do we got here? What's daddy bringing home? I just want to thank the train gods or whoever for saving me from this situation. This was really getting miserable and now it's over, hopefully. Safely on board out here. Thank you, train gods, thank you whoever for this train showing up. 
like to stay humble, stay moving, appreciate it. Out! <laughs>going on still the hobo here at another apparent dead-end stop off the uh, not the crew change unfortunately this isn't as big a deal because I can at least tell that the train I'm on has not broken up it's still put together I think they're just I don't know why it's stopped here but it's been quite a quite a break and I'm starting to really ready get ready to just not be here anymore. See the water tower, it's this Slatin, Slatin, Texas, which I think is somewhere near Lubbock, but it's not quite close enough. But it's again, here we are, just marooned. I don't think it's as bad. I think the train, I mean, I don't know, you got crew vans here. You got these dokies. That's interesting. So, not nearly as bad a situation as it was. It's a lot further along than it was. I'm, I'm wondering if this crew van is going to come put the the uh, crew on the train because my stuff's on the train, and I'm a pretty good distance from the track, so this would be a disaster if it did. Back on board. Leave in Slayton or Slayton, Texas. It's about time, it's been like a four hour stop in this yard, it's ridiculous. I hope, I hope we're out of here. Texas and entering New Mexico at Clovis and what's going on here is we got two possible options I could just <clears throat> I could get off and try to gamble on a train going to Amarillo which means I have to go back through this junction and possibly go the wrong way or right on you know and then from Amarillo I could get a, a train to Denver and the other option is to stay on this to fill in New Mexico and get a bus. There's cheaper buses from there to Denver and just do it that way. So here's the split. This is the busier line coming in from Amarillo. And uh, yeah, now the lines converge at Clovis. I think I'm just gonna stay on this train to Bellin and end the trip there. I get a bus or I can hitchhike back to Denver. I just don't have enough time. Part of the problem is that junction where I was just talking about. I'm not positive which trains are going left. So to go to Amarillo, it would be a bit of a gamble and I just don't have time for that right now. I think we're leaving Clovis. Heading west, out.
right, folks, uh, successfully just debarked the train in Berlin or Berlin, however you say it. That's going to probably conclude this episode. I'm going to get a bus from here up to Denver, and honestly, buses aren't really remarkable enough to include in a YouTube video. But I will say, if you want to see a lot of trains, this is a good place. Non-stop trains coming through here. There could be a hundred a day. You know, we got this four double stack trains refueling down there and then just going west. Being here on the BNSF Transcon definitely makes me wanna go further west on this. Let's save that for the next episode. Right now I'm fried. So in conclusion, uh, for this Stove the Hobo episode, we traveled from New Orleans to Bellin on Union Pacific and then Burlington Northern Santa Fe, passing through Houston, Temple, Brownwood, Texas, and then uh, finally Clovis and off to here. This has been a major grind and I'm, I'm glad it's over. It's nice that the final trip from uh, Clovis out here was so uneventful. And if I could do it again, I know what not to do. Just stay on intermodal trains is the conclusion. Don't get on anything, just general manifest freight because it's gonna stop or it's gonna dead end or something. So, uh, so long, till next time. Stub the hobo out. Uh -huh.